Oh yeah, you almost got. Uh, hey guys, someone's coming. Hey you fellas, what are you doing there? Which of you made that big hole in that wall? Hmm, wise guy, say. Eh? Well, if one of you don't own up, then you're all going into the slammer. Hey, why should we listen to you? You're not the boss of us. Hey, y'all, have you know that back in my day, I was Officer Billy Batson. I don't care if you're a Batman. You get out of here. <laughs> well, you can't say I didn't warn them. Shazam! Uh -huh. Now, even though Billy Batson might age, Shazam never will. Now, evildoers, it's time for you to pay the price of disrespecting the law. Next time you see Officer Billy Batson, you do what he says. Now get out of my sight! Ah, this guy's crazy! Now, it's time for my review. Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. So hello parents and toy collectors, it's your good pal Oz. And today we're going to be reviewing the uh, DC Super Friends Imaginix Shazam and Tiger. Now this is for ages 3 to 8 and it comes, as you can clearly see, it comes with a Shazam, it comes with a Tiger. And if we spin around the back it quickly will give us a brief little glimpse as to what it does. Um, so you press the button for chomping action which we just saw a moment ago. <laughs> and then uh, there's also a button at the top of the missile launcher which uh, will shoot out lightning bolts, but we'll, we'll check it out better very soon once it's out of the box. Um, so yeah, what we'll do in this video is we'll get them out of the box, take it for a spin, see what they can do, um, and then we'll take a close look at uh, Shazam himself, well there he is, Shazam himself, as well as the tiger, uh, and just kind of get our opinion, see what, is, what, see what they can do, what the articulation's like, if that cape comes off, I'm curious about that, um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So let's get these out of the box. So now we've got them both out of the box, here we go there. Now here we have Shazam, we'll look at him first. Um, and now you can probably see just from wiggling this while picking him up that um, I was able to take the cape off. We'll quickly check that out. Uh, he looks kind of lo a lot less like Shazam without his cape I've got to say. Because uh, I, I don't think Shazam ever goes without his cape, but it's cool that you can take it off. It's cool that you've got options and also means that maybe you can uh, make... Oh, where's my Batman? You can give other people some Shazam powers. There we go. Maybe we got, now we've got a Shazam Batman Beyond. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that would work. Uh, maybe... Oh no, I've dropped it. I drop everything. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get it on him. No, his hair is too spiky, maybe a Ninja Nightwing Shazam. There we go. Doesn't quite fit on anyone quite as well as it did on um, on Shazam himself. Hold on, there's a Batman over here from my last video, still on the sidelines. There we go, kind of like a Shazam Batman. But yeah, still, it doesn't look as good, mainly because all these characters I've been lucky enough to test it with have had um, something on their shoulders already. Um, whereas yeah, he, he's just, he doesn't look anything special without it. So this guy, this wood cape would fit on most characters. It's just um, unlucky enough to uh, find them with... Actually, I'm going to check some more. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I was unsatisfied without testing this cape properly. So let's quickly test it out on a few people. We've got Plastic Man here. Uh, there we go, looking cool. What bad luck that all the characters I had kind of within reach, which is quite a lot, but none of them, they all had like something on their shoulders. His Brainiac. Oh, he looks cool. He looks kind of mysterious now with the cape. Looking cool. Okay, and one more. Let's do... Oh, Metalo. I haven't used him in a long time. Okay. Oh man, he suits the cape too, like some sort of wasteland wanderer or something like that. <laughs> From those uh, apocalyptic kind of cartoons or movies. Uh, but okay, very cool. So the cape looks good on others. We've finally identified that. Uh, it would look good on Alex Luthor too if I had him around. I should have grabbed him. But anyway, here's Shazam. Now, um, I love all the detail. Like the, his his body itself has a lot more detail. See all the little lightning bolts on his legs, uh, his belt. They're using the proper shiny gold, not that kind of dull gold they used to use back in the day. Uh, the cool lightning bolt. Again, more lightnings everywhere. They could have easily left all these kind of extra details out because the normal Shazam doesn't have 
like lightning bolts on his legs and stuff but I'm glad they did include it because this makes him look way cooler um, even on the back of his legs and his back I noticed they had extra detail which they don't have to do because it was all covered but it's good to see they went to the extra detail ex went the extra mile is that the word uh, phrase now uh, look at his eyes too I love how he's got so much like power em emanating from his body or from his eyes <laughs> that it's kind of like flowing over the edges it's very cool even his boots have lots of detail okay anyway enough for Shazam he is awesome um, got the full articulation I don't know if I went into that but he's got the full articulation head turns arms go up everything like that now here's the tiger now this is what I feel is letting down the gang because um, he just looks not such great quality and the plastic uh, it's kind of normal for uh, um, Imagine X with some of the older things, but I don't know. It's just and the paint job is a little bit kind of dull looking. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm being too critical, but yeah, the detail on the tiger is definitely not to the same quality as on Shazam, and it sucks too. This is just again my own personal thoughts, but it sucks that you can't take this off its back. It is definitely fastened down. Um, it doesn't need to be for the gun, but it probably needs to be for this button here, which does the mouth. Um, but it's a shame, yeah, you can't just slip it off because then you could use it as having a, a tiger as well as like a battle tiger with a rocket. Because how many stories do you have where you need a tiger to have a big rocket on his back or a cannon on his back? Um, so yeah, I'm a bit disappointed that you can't take that off, but it's still cool, it's still cool. Um, oh, as for what it does, as you can see the tail spins around, the legs back and forth quite far. Let's try the other one. There we go, he can be a, sh a flying tiger if he wants. <laughs> um, now what else? Anything else? Nope, that's all we got, but we can check out the rocket. Oh, the cannon? I don't know what you'd call it, but it doesn't go up and down. I know you can see that nice little shiny pivot kind of thing there, but um, no, it does not go up and down at all. Um, it looks like a button at the back there, but there isn't one. Um, oh, look, I didn't notice that. That just spins it around, but it doesn't shoot. Why isn't it shooting? Ah, like, oh, there we go. Okay, I've lost a rocket. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone to the one place I can't get these things. Um, so, if you push it down halfway, it rotates. This is something new. So, push it down halfway, it rotates. Push it down all the way. Let's just aim a little bit lower. <laughs> Sorry, Ninja, Ninja Robin. Okay, oh, I almost got him. So that's kind of cool. It does kind of have a dual function, this button, because yeah, you can spin on command or shoot, shoot. There we go. Okay, very cool. Anyway, that's the Tiger and Shazam. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like it button. Give it a big Shazam <laughs> like. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, but guys, until I see you next time, have a great week. Take care of yourself, and I will catch you next time.